Okay. Hi, this is T.H. Colhane from Solar City Solutions, and I'm with Martha Liu, who's come from northern China, come down, and we're going to be going to Bangkok later this evening, but wanted to show Martha your system, Dr. Wang. Dr. Jianan mm -hmm. Wang is actually behind the camera filming us. He's the inventor mm -hmm. of this incredible system called the Pushin Biogas Technology System. And this is a great example of a household using it. You have here two gas collectors. And what it is, is underneath this cover, it is a just a round cement tank. Oh, sorry, sorry, push it over here. Oh, how, how should I have it? How did that work? It's a round cement tank that goes down, uh, how deep does it go down? One, one, uh, one meter down? Yeah, about. About a meter down, and in it is a fiberglass plastic dome, a hemisphere, gas holder. You can see the gas tube coming out of the top of it, and this is to hold a cubic meter or a thousand liters of gas, and as it fills up with gas, it lifts the water that's in the tank up above it, and that creates a pressure of one ton, that is a thousand kilograms of water pressure, which then pushes the gas all the way to the kitchen for cooking or to the lamps or to an electric generator or to a water heater for taking showers and baths. So a lot of things you can do it. And there are two of these, so that's two cubic meters worth of gas storage. And these are both full right now even though he's been using it. <laughs> this is where the gas is stored. Now, two cubic meters gives you enough gas to cook for approximately four hours on a single burner. So you can get about four hours of that full flame burner from these two holders. But there's an additional two gas holders here. These are on top of the biodigester. So underneath yes. our feet here, it's not just a concrete tank of one meter down. This goes down a meter, as that does, and then it spreads out to a 10 cubic meter space. So imagine a big vault, like a cave, underneath our feet that comes out three meters diameter, three meters diameter. So beneath our feet here is this tank that was really easy to build because you build it using these metal plates, which can be put together in a few hours like a jigsaw puzzle, and then you pour cement, wait for it to dry in two or three days, you remove the plates and then take them over here and build another digester with the same metal plates. That's one of the great innovations why this is such an efficient system and so low cost. You just build the system and then you take the plates and you can build as many systems as you want. And then if you want to build more gas holders, you take just the neck molds that were for the gas holder and you make with the same molds, you make additional gas storage. So you can just expand and expand as your family expands, as your business expands, as your school expands. You can use that same set of molds to make more and more and more gas. And the more and more people you have, the more and more waste you have, therefore the more gas you have. And fertilizer. These wonderful fruit cheese, like this, uh, you said this is a lychee? No, dragon eye. Dragon eye. Oh, yeah. So there's a dragon eye fruit here. The high quality of Food, the nutritious food is because the digesters produce the world's best fertilizer. In this digester here, you can see the tofu, some of the soybean that they're putting in. This is the inlet, this is the mouth of the digester. Mm -hmm. The food waste goes here, and then it goes down a pipe to the bottom of this tank here, where this is the stomach of this sacred cow, we like to say. And then there's an additional gas holder under here, and this is also full. Mm -hmm. Now you can smell just a little bit here because this is the food digesting. Mm -hmm. In those, it's just water. But this is the food digesting, and you see bubbles mm -hmm. from some of the gas there mm -hmm. that's fermenting because there is active food inside mm -hmm. here. This one is going to produce up to, I think you said, five cubic meters of gas a day. Yes, yes, it around. Can actually yeah. produce, and that would be enough to cook for 10 hours yeah. or to run a generator for... Yes. Uh, I suppose you could run a generator for about four or five hours with the gas from this alone. And then there's another one. This is the outlet. The fertilizer that's so good for these fruit trees comes out of here. A very nutrient-rich fertilizer with all the nitrogen, potassium, mm -hmm. phosphorus. It's all mm -hmm. there because your food waste had all the nutrients that came from the farm. Now it just goes right back into the soil. And then there's another one here, and you have 
place to feed it. But this one is being fed not only with food waste, but as you can see from that white pipe over there, mm -hmm. the toilet wastes are also coming into this system. That pipe takes the toilet waste every time they flush the toilet. Mm -hmm. It will flow by gravity down this white pipe, underground, mm -hmm. and into okay. the think. inlet of a digester, mm -hmm. an inlet of a digester. So these digesters can take the toilet waste mm -hmm. and all the food waste. Mm -hmm. And you can see that this one is also full. Yeah. The water level is all the way up. That means that the gas has completely filled the dome that's in there. That's the outlet. And then you have the outlet over here. Yeah, here. Outlet pipe. This outlet pipe here takes the fertilizer down mm -hmm. and fertilizes all of the fruit trees on the farm. Mm -hmm. So basically every digester is based of, of three different parts. The inlet where it's fed, mm -hmm. toilet waste or kitchen waste. The digester underneath where all of the digestion takes place. The neck of the system with the gas holder that holds the gas and pressurizes it. And the outlet where the fertilizer can then go out to the garden and can be used for irrigation. Then you have separate gas holders. If you have the space, you can just keep building and building and building and building. And that's why we think that this is probably the best system for development in both urban and rural and in suburban settings. It can be built above ground, it can be built below ground, it can be somewhat buried like this, it can be completely buried. You have the option with this system. So the guy's cooking. The store, yeah. maybe you have some explanation. Yeah, we'll explain there as well. Yeah, how about that? Is it still on?